two prosperity preachers' grubby little hands are still present within our society, even amongst the corona crisis. Let's react to it. Okay, this first video from a while back, an interviewer tried to chase up on uh, Kenneth Copeland to ask him about his new airplane that he got because he got this massive jet to travel around all the world. Um, <laughs> let's watch it. How are you, sir? We'd just like to ask you about why you don't want to fly commercial. Why have you said that you won't fly commercial? You said that it's like getting into a tube with a bunch of demons. Why do you think that? No, no listen to me just say. <laughs> Dude, that's good, that's good. I gotta remember that <laughs> tube with a bunch of demons, okay. Not the people. The main reason. Dude, do you see that smile? That is so scary. He's like, not the people. <laughs> not the people. <laughs> is because of the need. If, if I flew commercial, I'd have to stop 65% of what I'm doing. That's really the main. Isn't it true that you want to fly commercial so that you can fly in luxury? How much money did you pay for Tyler Perry's Gulfstream jet, for example? Well, for example, that's really none of your business, but... Isn't it the business of your donors? Listen, I paid. <laughs> Dude, this guy is so caught off guard. This is what happens when evil is confronted, when greed is confronted. The dude's like, I paid. <laughs> You kind of caught me off guard here, okay? Certainly. Well, if you'd like to come out here, I'd like to give you a chance to to catch your breath and and have a conversation. We don't want to we don't want to catch you off guard. I love Inside Edition. You got to get this now. Hey, you listen to me. My my wife thinks Inside Edition is. Oh yeah. <laughs> do you see? Like, do you see in his eyes? My wife thinks Inside Edition is. Oh, oh yeah. Like, <laughs> what? The, this guy. I'm not like. This dude is, he is exhibiting like possessed behavior. I'm kind of joking and kind of not at the same time. Uh, something's up with this guy, man. When you are so immersed in like evil and greed and like conning people and like manipulation, it's like your mind just gets twisted and you're just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like you just, it's just a scary. Some people, I'm talking about the Bible. <laughs> the blessing of Abraham. Abraham was extremely wealthy, and he had a covenant with God. Not the, it's not the Jewish blessing, it's the Abrahamic blessing. God, I get excited talking about it because I love it. And I started out deep in debt with nothing, which is another story. But anyway. <laughs> so you say that it's biblical and that, it that, biblical. that there's a foundation in the Bible for this. Let me close it with this. I... Uh, I had to learn this, like I said, from the Bible and from my spiritual mentor, Oral Roberts. And, and I, I learned it from him, okay, working this, with him, and then this we part became is gonna get wild. close friends until he died. And, um, and he took the same heat for believing God would prosper you that I've taken over the years. And Abraham was a very, very wealthy man. Galatians chapter 3. <laughs> if you belong to Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to his promise. And his promise was great wealth. The Bible also says that it's more difficult for a rich man to get into heaven than it is for a camel to get through the eye of a needle. Correct? Dude, uh, dude, this this guy just got old. I don't, I like, I doubt this lady for it. Maybe she is a Christian, but she just quoted scripture back of this dude, and he's like, oh, "What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do?" No, no, God wants us to be wealthy. Yeah, I don't like that very verse very much. Yeah, we don't listen to that verse. We only like the ones that talk about being wealthy because Abraham was wealthy. Abraham was so rich. He was so rich. Jesus, so rich. But he said, all things are possible with God. 
<laughs> I love that the comeback is all things are possible with God. It's like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> so, sir, um, why, why are you, why are you murdering these people? It, doesn't it say in the Bible, thou shalt not murder? He said, all things are possible with God. It's like, what? It's not a comeback. Next time, next time somebody like confronts you about something in your life, you're just like, all things are possible with God. That was a little while back, but now let's see Kenneth Copeland. And now he is trying to fight the coronavirus. He is he is saying, oh no, this is the devil. This is the devil getting us here. This is the devil. We got to stop the devil. God can't stop the devil. The devil is getting us. And so we got to do something about this coronavirus. God gave me a word. This word. I he went through all those scriptures. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Get yourself ready. As an elder of the church, in the name that's above every name that's named, Jesus, Mashiach, Mashiach, the Messiah, the living God, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that healeth thee in the flesh. And where two or three are gathered in his name, he's right here. Amen. Is it, is it just me or do I feel like it's like these two guys are sitting there and they're just kind of like, you know, they're a part of it. This is their gig, you know, they're supposed to be on this, you know, on this show. And all of a sudden, Kent comes over and he's like, but you're over right here, Yeshua, where two or more are gathered, there I will be also. It's like these guys are like, yeah, yeah, calm down, Kenneth, calm down. Don't do something crazy. Okay, so they're Jim Baker. Let's go to Jim Baker. Jim Baker is another, how, shall we say, quack. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if in other countries that's like a really offensive word to me. I'm just like, that's just a funny word to use. Um, <laughs> but Jim Baker, he now has this solution. Okay, what's it called? It's called like the, the silver silver solution, I believe, or something like that. Uh, yeah, and it's like the cure to the coronavirus. So this is a, this is a video here. This influenza that is now circling the globe, you're saying that silver solution would be effective. Well, let's say it hasn't been tested on this strain of the coronavirus, but it's been tested on other strains yeah. of the coronavirus and has been uh, able to eliminate it within 12 hours. The crazy thing is there's tons and tons of people that are buying into this stuff, which is part of the reason that these guys are so popular and prominent. Like, ask your grandparents, do they listen to these people? Like, be careful, watch out for these guys. Wow, well, this is just... Uh, they want you to buy something that cures all diseases. It's like, they really do take advantage of the most vulnerable and it's and it's so sad, but it's also so comical for people who are just like, use some common sense and they're like, wait a minute, if they have something that cures everything, why are they, have they not given this to every single person on earth? Why do not, why hasn't everybody heard about this? Maybe because it actually doesn't work. <laughs> you know, we gotta come to these conclusions. But at the same time, man, oh man, these guys, Kenneth is, uh, Kenneth scares me. You would not want to be in the same room with Kenneth Copeland, the way he kind of looks at you like this. He's like, you know, in the, in the name, in the name, a Jehovah, Jehovah, name where two or three or more gathered. There I will be also. <laughs> this is crazy. But anyway, I hope you guys had a good laugh. Uh, <laughs> um, I know I did, for sure. And uh, I'll be back next week with another video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you want to support me on Patreon, that would be amazing, especially during this time where work is questionable. <laughs> um, but thank you so much, and uh, I'll see you next time. God bless, guys.